In this video, we'll discuss uh, questions that you guys call us quite often about, is how to connect the PAR64 LED to a OPT1216. Uh, keep in mind, it's the same concept once you get the idea to con control it from any controller. Uh, the important part is that you have to have a DMX controller and at the same time you have to know that your Parken 64 LED is using five channels. The f first channel is red, the second channel is green, the third channel is blue, the fourth channel is your shutter or dimmer and the fifth channel is functions or strobing. So we're going to show you how to connect it, how to assign it. Um, as far as assigning the DMX channel, there is a, a video that we made about how to assign DMX channel in deep switches concept. So you refer to that video and it will explain to you how to assign the DMX. Um, this is a very informative video about how the deep switches are reacting to values. Uh, very, very important. Uh, once you understand that, you know. Uh, keep in mind that if you have multiple of units, they are, have to jump in five channel increments. But at the same time, it's important even how your con control is it con configured. So, for example, this controller is configured to 12 units, where each unit is capable of controlling up to 16 channels. So, really, what I'm going to do, I'm going to assign it the first time, and it's going to be two separate videos, where I'm assigning the unit to be channel 1 through 5, and then I'm assigning it to be from channel 9 to 13. Um, in the next video, what I'm going to do is, I'm going to assign it to every one of the units, it'll be on a different fixture. So we'll do here a few videos, you should uh, look at them, and uh, they'll show you how to assign this unit to the controller where it's using different channels or different fixtures. To start, uh, what you need to know is that this particular DMX controller has three pin DMX output. So this is where your power gets connected and your cable, you take your male connector, connect it into the output. Once you did that, you connected your DMX cable, you take your female and at that point you don't have any option but connect it to the input on the unit. Keep in mind we always start from the controller and go into the unit. We don't go from the unit into the controller because then you might go from the DMX output into your controller. So really you have to come from the output of the controller into the input of the first unit. If you have multiple units, you just connect them in a loop. You go from the output of the first one to the input of the second one and so on. Now, talking about five channel controller, I'm doing a very basic configuration. I'm setting this unit to be channel number one. Very simple. All I have to do is put dip switch number one on. Once I turn dip switch number one on, no other dip switch has to be on. Just dip switch number one. Uh, once I did that, this unit has the ability to have uh, to stand on the floor because it has a two brackets so you can set it up on the floor you can hang it however you choose to use it so now for me to show you how this is controlled it's very interesting so I set it up to this switch number one that means the unit is controlled from unit number one and the first five channels and to turn the controller on I'm turning it at the back once my controller is on, I have to bring my speed button all the way up and I have to leave my fed button all the way down. I have to click fixture number one and at that point I'm controlling my channel one through five. Pay attention that there is page A and B. So this is where you're tagging or between page A and B. So if I'm on page B, I'm actually controlling channel nine through 13 on fixture number one. When I'm tagging to here and this light is on, I'm controlling channel one through eight. So actually very, very important to know that, that the page moves and gives you the ability to control channel nine through 16. And if I'm in unit number one, it's actually one through eight. 
very important. So I'm actually, because I did it in district number one, I'm controlling channel one through eight. Uh, my, my unit is using only five channels, so only the five first channel will be in use. And I'm, again, I'm not going into programming, I'm just going to show you the function. For you to be able to see light, because I said to you this chair unit is using five channels and channel number four is your dimmer, you have to turn channel number four up on first. After you turn number four up, you'll be able to see your light coming on. That's my red, that's my green, that's my blue. Keep in mind if channel number four will be off and I'm turning my channel on, nothing will come on because that is my dimmer. I have to have that on in a way to control my light. So this is how you do it. To recap stuff, again, the unit is using five channel. Channel number one is red. Channel number two is green. Channel number three is blue. Channel number four is your shutter dimmer and channel number five is your strobing or special function. You assign it to the channel that you want to assign it, and at that point you have to know which channel you have to control. So in this case, we just turn diff switch number one on, that's channels one through five. On the controller, it's control through fixture number one, and at that point, I'm able to control channel one through five. Any question? Please call Balb America at 888-505-2111 or you can go to our website and get any additional information you need.